Stokes theorem. What is Stokes theorem? This is one of the basic definitions of Stokes theorem. Stokes theorem says that line integral of a body is equal to its surface integral. When I take a line integral of a body, it always equals to its surface integral. So basically Stokes theorem defines the relation between line integration and surface integration. When you reflect back to the previous session, Green theorems also relates line integral to its surface integral. But there is a main difference between Stokes theorem and Green's theorem. The difference is that Stokes theorem applies on the region lies in three dimensions, where Green's theorem applies only on a plane region in two dimensions, not in three dimensions. This is the main difference between Stokes theorem and Green's theorem. Formula of the Stokes theorem is here where line integral equals to the surface integral. Looking at left side where C stands for the curve, for the boundary of an object, for the outline surface of an object, where A stands for the surface, the region under the curve of that object. Suppose that this is my object and I want to apply Stokes theorem on it. Where the border of the line shows the line integration on the left side where the rate area or region is the surface integration on the right side of the equation. dr is actually vector of resultant vector. Look to the object. It is actually the tangential vector of the resultant vectors on the curve of a body. At the right side, f is actually the vector point function. It's a vector in three dimensions. Let me take x, y, z plane. Let me take an object here. It is in three dimensions because it has coordinates in all the three x, y, z plane. And cap is a unit normal vector. Let me draw x, y, z plane again. These are the unit normal vectors i, j, and k. i is along x axis perpendicular to y, z plane. And j is along y axis perpendicular to x, z plane. k is along z axis perpendicular to x, y plane ds actually represent dx, dy, or dz. If I take an object in x, y, z plane, then ds will be dx times dy. If I take an object in x and z plane, ds will be dx times dz. But if the surface is in y and z plane, then ds will be dy and dz.